Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I hope everyone had a great holiday and appreciate your patience on this. Um, honestly, I had a uh, much longer monologue to go with this, but this is probably my fourth or fifth time attempting this video, so <laughs> no one make y'all wait any further. So let's just go ahead and get on with this. Okay, so we are going to be doing a Techno Parrot setup. We're going to be running Aliens Extermination for our first game, and this is going to be a non-patron. Um, so, we're going into uh, higher-end builds. Now, I say higher-end, I'm not talking like super, you need a 400, 60, 70 uh, GPU to run this thing. You just need some sort of external card to get the best experience out of this. So everything up to this point has really been done more on a low base scale. And uh, we are going to, uh, preferably, you're going to want to use uh, some sort of uh, GPU. Uh, my system, I use a 1650 Super, but you can go as low as a 1030 GT, preferably. I think it's the uh, DD4 version, not the DD3, if you go that route. Um, and you should get through just fine on all these games. Also, Techno can get pretty uh, weird with uh, AMD style graphics cards. So that would be like your RX series. So they may give you issues. I'm not really experienced that myself, but just through a lot of forum reading, that's what I came across. Other than that, um, you, you if you do experience problems, especially with this game in particular, because it can give AMD cards issues, I'll show you a fix that may or may not work. Works for some people, works for not everyone though. So that's just going to be an option. Um, this is going to be a two-part series on this. So this first part, I'm just going to show you how to install your Techno Parrot how to get the game set up along with your guns and honestly this is probably going to be the easiest setup we ever done it's it's easier than mame i would say but saying that techno parrot really goes on a game for game basis so some other games may need a bit more tlc to function properly but this one here is pretty easy. It's non-patron. However, I do suggest that you do go the patron route. It's only $5, and it'll unlock all the games. Because in the next game that we do, we're going to do Jurassic Park. So you all know that one just came out. That is the new hot girl walking around that all you guys want to be with. So we're going to get on to that after we do extermination, and it'll be our first one going patron. So if you're not using a patron account, then you won't be able to play that game. You can still download it and get it set up, but you just you just can't play it. So I'm giving you that warning now. Okay. Anyways, that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, also as well, this method I want to show you and how we're going to set this up. This should go across for any type of LaunchBox build that you're running. So if you've been following my videos and have your setup just like me, then just follow through to exactly what I do. If you found me and done this through the Uncle Rick build, this will work as an add-on. And again, just follow all these steps. It's going to work just as fine. And if you're neither or, but you do have a launch box build, again, follow these steps and it should work for you. Uh, these steps are going to be specifically for the Sendin light gun. But if you have any other gun, then just skip the parts where we use reshade. And, of course, your gun inputs are going to look different, but they should all still work the same. Alright, now that we're on the same page, the first thing that we're going to need to do is open up your folder build that you want to put this into. 
I'm sorry for Uncle Rick. You would just go to Uncle Rick build. For me and the rest of us, we have our LaunchBox LG. You're going to go to your emulators, come down here, and create a folder called Techno Parrot. Now, for right now, this is going to be empty. But the reason that we are creating this, we're going to need to have this folder added as an exclusion for Windows Defender. Um, anytime you mess with a emulator as far as adding on games and i should have mentioned this earlier in the series but keep your defender off i mean you could turn it on when you're done but always make sure you have the folder added as an exclusion um, windows defenders will mark a lot of dll files as viruses which are not they're not viruses or not malware it's just false flags but how you open it up is you can open the shield up here or you can just find this in your options you'll go to virus threat and protection come down here to virus and threat protection settings go to manage settings and you can just hit real-time protection turn that off you want that for you to do anything else and then come down here to exclusions and we're going to add an exclusion and we're just going to hit folder and find the folder that we just created for techno parrots i already booted up to mine but you'll probably have to dig through it and find it through your c drive or d drive wherever you have this at launchbox emulators etc now if you have done this on one drive but then you move it to another drive you will need to re-add this exclusion again because it's going to be looking for this drive so if i put this in d drive but I only had the exclusion from a C drive, then it's going to quarantine and probably mess up my build on the D drive. So always be sure to add your exclusion or just keep your Windows Defender off. I mean, that is up to you. I keep mine off as much as I can, but I'm also very secure in every site that I go to, do my due diligence, make sure those sites do have a good reputation okay then once you're done with that just go ahead and hit x and then you can confirm windows defender is off by looking your lower right toolbar and you will see the x over the shield all right so now that we have this put in um open up your send in wiki all right so uh, the actual site you want to go to is to send in wiki.org backslash wiki techno parrot etc but if you just want to go to your sending wiki how you find this page you go to your page here and you go to your emulators and then you want to go to techno parrot and here we are even if you're not running send in wiki i still recommend this this will still give uh, details and information that can help you out on whatever gun that you're using we go up here and this can take us straight to techno parrot website so just right click on that i open link up in new tab or new window apparently doesn't matter um register your new account if you never have one yet and you may not even have to do that if you're going non-patron. But it doesn't hurt if you can do it. And yeah, it's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to do this in a different tab. There we go. Much better. Alright, and we're just going to go to download. You want to download the bootstrapper. The uh, bootstrapper has the uh, updates that will also give you the latest version of this so open up your folder let's kind of pull this off to the side open up your zip i suggest run 7-zip that's what i use and if you are running 7-zip just right click on that go to show more options properties and you'll hit this unblock this will make sure that every file comes out even though we do have our even though we do have our defenders off you know i still don't want to take any chances open up your zip click and drag all these files into our created techno parrot folder all 
All right, let's drag them into here. Now open up that Technoparrot folder, and we're going to launch the Bootstrapper. All right, we'll have all this right here. Hit your browse, and this is going to point to Technoparrot where this or the uh, folder is going to be that we want it. So we'll just start from back here, find your launch box build, go to your emulators, and check your folder. So you want to just hit the folder. Once you have your folder selected, hit select folder and it fully install everything. Now this may, depending on your computer, it could go just as quickly. It may take a little bit of time. Either here or there, that's up to you. Seems like the first time. Please say yes. Yeah. So just hit yes. We do not have a game, so we don't want to add anything just yet. And you're going to have the Techno Parrot UI. Um, I'm a patron, so that's going to pop up because you're given a key, and the key is going to be tied to the device that you're going to use. So if you're just going to go with a $5 one, then use the computer arcade device that you're going to be using the most. It's going to be tied to that. All right, and then from here, we'll just double check our settings. Um, all this should be defaulted to being what you need. So I'm just going to hit my save settings, hit yes. Uh, we don't have any games to add right now. Um, also, do check for your updates. In your upper left, you want to say update available. So let's go ahead and get our updates. So just install your updates. Make sure that's all checked. You can look at these change logs if you want. I know I should, but I'm not going to because I'm just lazy like that. All right, so as you can see, it's just doing all this. Depending on your speed, it may go faster or not. That depends on your computer setup. I just want to ask you all this again. Hit no. We don't have any ROMs. All right, so now go ahead and close this. Now, we got to find our game. So, just hit yes. Oh, and also make sure that your C++ visuals is set up. And you have your DirectX. And I'll show you how to update that if you haven't done it in a few months. If it's not updated, then TechnoParrot's not going to run for you. And it's just going to leave you feeling frustrated. It's an easy, super quick fix. That's not going to mess anything up. And I'll show you how to access that. All right. So you'll go right here. It'll be your Visual C++. Plus plus, so that's how you would update this. As far as direct X goes, if you're using the Uncle Rick build, it actually has both C++ and the direct X updates. But also, I believe when you download the Bootstrapper, it already has that update as well. But you will need the uh, direct X update. Which I believe also comes with LaunchBox when you originally download it. So if you're running Uncle Rick's build and you never had LaunchBox on your system before, run the LaunchBox first and then Uncle Rick and you'll have all those drivers set. And to find this C++ here, if you need it, it's going to be in Sendin. You'll come down here to Troubleshooting. You will go to uh, sit in troubleshooting, and then you're just going to come all the way down, and you'll see it in these tiny little links right here. All right, so next we are going to uh, get our ROM. So we got to find our games, and a good place to uh, find and uh, search for Techno Parrot games, or really any games at all, is going to be. Good old archive.org. Now, this is really a, just a browser site. So, knowing what you're searching for definitely helps. Um, usually, the um, tech 
Techno Full Games is a good search to use. So Techno Parrot Full Games. <clears throat> Alright, so you're just going to put in uh, this up here in your search and it should just pop up this for your search result. It'll have about 200 plus K views, so that'll be a correct file. You'll open the file or the site and you will go to the show all in the lower right and it'll bring to this screen right here and the one that we want right now is aliens extermination so you're just going to click on that and you're going to let it download now depending on your download speed this may take anywhere from about three minutes to 16 minutes and that just depends on your internet speed on your computer etc so once it finishes i'll be back Alright, and once you're done, just go to your downloads or wherever you choose to download that at. You're going to have the zip file right here. Um, again, if you're on 7-zip or not, make sure your Defender is off. And go to your properties to check the box. And this doesn't have one, so I guess we're just going to have to roll the dice with it. Alright, so double check. Make sure your Defender is off, which mine is. You want to double click it. You want to see the folder here. Open up your Techno Parrot folder. And we should have done this as well. The emulators, Techno Parrot. And we need to create a games folder. All right, now through here, I would advise that you go to your Defender and create an exclusion for the games. But since we already have the entire Techno Parrot folder on the exclusion, I think we should be fine. So just grab the Extermination folder and drag it all the way to your games. Again, depending on the, your computer, that may be quick or it may take a while. All right, open up the folder here, and you're going to see some other zip files here. Now, if you're running Ascendant and you do not want your crosshairs on, you will use this. If you do want your crosshairs on, then just don't mess with anything else. But what you'll do to turn off the crosshairs, just open that, grab this file, and drag it all the way into your data. And we're going to replace the file in the destination. All right, and now we're not going to have any crosshairs. All right, now we're going to open up our uh, Techno Parrot emulator. So let's go back to your Techno Parrot folder root. You want to open up the Techno Parrot UI. And now I want to ask if we want to add a game. We do now because we have a game to add. And we're going to click on Extermination, click Add Game, we're going to Game Settings. We'll make a few changes here. Some of these changes may not be necessary, but I find it works best in my build, so you'll just have to click around and play. So first we're going to... Uh, Click right here in this line to game executable. So you want to put down either Aliens EX or D Shape EX. And for us, it's going to be D Shaped. How you find that, if it doesn't bring you straight to this, we'll start back in the root of Techno Parrot. We're going to go into the games folder, go to the game extermination, and it's going to be inside your data. And it should pop up right here. So hit your open. And you'll want to click custom resolution and change this to whatever your monitor is. Now, if going this route, your numbers will be different from mine. I am running a 2K, if running a 4K, yours may be different. 
if you're running a 19 a 20 that may be different um but you can play this without making these changes you'll just have to make sure this box is unchecked but if you do uh, make these changes you have this box checked and you're just having issues playing the game then just come back in this setting play this box unchecked and see if that works any better for you um, other than that everything else looks okay we got the cursor hidden we don't want that I have my save settings and uh, now we're going to uh, set up our controller so here if you do have ascended which I'm sure most of you do if you've been following me you want to make sure you have your ascended programs up and if they're not turn them on you can just start up your launch box if you've been following this program or have Uncle Bill, that will automatically populate your sentence. And if you're not running sentence, then just go straight to the gun configuration part. We're going to turn our borders on, Alt and B. And there's not very many settings that we're going to mess with, but we'll start with our player one start. And I just use my gun for this. So right now I'm just using my gun, and I'm just going to pull the trigger and click on the start, and that's going to be uh, for ascending to front right. For the rest of you, whatever gun you use as your start button for your games, you'll want to use that one. Here we're going to pick which gun we're using for player one. For me, it's going to be the black one. My trigger, of course my trigger. Special is going to be the front left. So whatever you have as your third button when you play these games, you're going to use that for your special. And then the flame, that's going to be our pump action or your number two. Also probably what you use for a reload button. So we'll click that, pull my pump action. Okay, and that is all the ones set for player two. Now I'll grab my second gun and do the same. And I can still use a second gun to act as a mouse. So I'm just going to do exactly the same. Pull back a little bit more. Front right to start. Light gun is when we got player two. All right, for whatever reason, my sights are being glitchy, so I'll have to fix that here in a second. All right, my trigger button. All right, you're fine now. I don't know why I did differently. Um, a special, again, that's going to be the front left. Or mouse middle button and flame is going to be the uh, pump action. Go to your save settings and uh, turn this off. Okay, so if you're a non-sending user, then you're basically done at this point. You can launch your game. Um, for the rest of us who are using Sendin, there is one more step that we need to make, and that's going to be using our reshade. So if you have Uncle Rick or been uh, following me, you're going to open up your launch box if it's not already open. And for the rest of you, this is your first time watching a video, just go to the uh, Reshade uh, website, download the program, and follow these steps. You can find a Reshade link in the Ascendant Wiki. Want to be in the uh, third party tools, Reshade. Okay, you got the link here, and you have all these instructions, so just follow along with that. But if you set up your tools like we have in a previous video, and this is why we put Reshade here. So we have easy access to it, and we can just do this. 
So you got reshade pulled up. Go to your browse. And uh, we're going to want the uh, aliens D hash pid. Hit open. Go to next. I believe it's open GL. If it's not, we'll go back and change it. Skip this screen. Make sure sweet FX is selected. Make sure all this populates. The only one that we are concerned about is a border. And if you're more experienced with reshade, then you can keep that and you can kind of fix how the screen looks. Hit next. Okay, we got the check. We're good. All right. You can close or minimize launch box. Totally up to you. Yeah, so if your sending programs already are running and LaunchBox comes up and you have these errors, it's just trying to launch another instance of sending, which it can't. But it's not going to bother anything. You can just hit OK and it'll be fine. Okay, so now we're going to launch our game. Now, the uh, launch speed of these isn't going to be as instant as we're used to. So it's going to be about a 20 to 40, 45 second delay just because it's more higher end. So you just have a lot more processing that it has to do. And that speed is going to vary depending on what your rig is set up for. So, of course, if you have a higher end processor, a higher end GPU, then yours will probably be much quicker than mine. I'm just running on a, a, a AMD uh, what is it, like an AMD 535 series, 3500, running a, a 1650 Super. So I consider my rig to be mid-tier. Okay, so if you see the message on the top of Reshade, they know you have Reshade installed correctly, but how do we get the border up? And that's pretty easy. We're just going to hit our Home button. So to set your Home, skip your tutorial. I want to show you the only thing you need to know. Check your border. Come to border color down here. You'll want to drag this as far up left as you can get. Brighter the better. All right. Then just click anywhere to get that off and change your size now. All right. Now we have a border and you can adjust that however thick you want. Um, I usually adjust mine probably about this size, usually between a 8 and a 15 is going to be good. And that really depends on your resolution. If this was on my 9, 1920 resolution instead of the uh, 2560, I'd probably only go to like 8 to 10. But here I need to at least go to about 15. So it just depends on your resolution screen of what you need to do and just test test it out. But once you're done, hit your home button and it'll save and you don't have to mess with that again. All right, so now of course we have our free play set. So we'll just want to point out the screen, pull our front right as our start and looks like we are good. So I'm moving my player one gun around. As you can see, it's moving. Now I got my player two, and I see movement. So I know as far as this goes now, we have movement. Now let's test see if the rest of the buttons work. Pull my trigger to skip. Player one trigger. Player two trigger. Let's try to get the flamethrower going on. That's player one. I just suck with the flamethrower. Apparently, they're still hitting me. And then the player two flamethrower. We're good here. Let's get some grenades going. So that's the front left. I'm better with shot with the grenades. And then player two front right. Okay. And then you can still use your escape to get out of this. So you can hit your escape button. Or if you're a send -in user and has it programmed like I do, that'll be your rear left. All right, so my rear left didn't work that time, but just the escape button did. Oh, yeah. It needs to be rear left off screen, so that's why it didn't work for me. Okay, so anyways, um, that is it. We are good. Um, that completes this video. 
Um, I'll try to get the second part out within the next couple of days, but in the second video, we're going to move this over to LaunchBox, get it set up for Big Box. We're going to get our media done. We're going to get the Techno Parrot emulator set up. And then we're just going to try to go game by game on what to do. The next one's going to be Jurassic Park game. So if you do want that, make sure that you become a Patron member. Um, and really, everyone, uh, that is it. If you want, need more help, more information over all this, you can join me and others at light gun lunatics on facebook you can get direct contact with me through there or other guys who are way more smarter than me and they also have other variety of guns too so if you don't run to send it and i can't help you someone in there can um anyways good luck enjoy killing some aliens and i will see you all next time bye